Again, I apologize for that. Welcome everyone. It's Blind Run with Blind Run Gaming, and today I was going to just show you guys a uh, quick tutorial on how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Astro A50 headset. Today, um, Microsoft released the headset adapter that will adapt to any of your older Xbox 360 compatible headsets. And if you're like me and you invested 300 bucks in a pair of Astro A50s, or even, you know, a lot of these headsets are pretty expensive, anywhere from 100 bucks to 300 bucks. And so you don't, you didn't really want to buy a brand new headset. So now you have, um, for $25, you have an option to um, adapt your older headsets to the Xbox One. Um, so uh, things you're going to need is you're going to need the adapter, and then there the the this adapter in and of itself, and then you're also going to need the three and a half millimeter to two and a half millimeter auxiliary stereo adapter that you're going to need as well. One thing that the, the, the adapter does not come with in the package is the two and a half millimeter cable that went from your 360 controller to your um, Xbox 360 compatible headset. So this is going to be a piece that came with your headset and hopefully you haven't misplaced it since the uh, since the release of the Xbox One because you haven't been able to use it so if you need to track one of these down you can always go to um, the Astro official Astro website which I can put a link down in the bottom and purchase another one so first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the adapter and line up the two uh, dongles here or dowels here with the with the respective holes on the bottom of the Xbox One controller and then you're going to press firmly in and connect it make sure it's connected firmly then you're going to take the three and a half millimeter adapter and plug that into the bottom of the the controller adapter itself then you'll take the two and a half millimeter audio adapter and plug that into the bottom of the stereo adapter there and then you will take this and on your Astro A50s on the bottom next to the power charge on the USB you will see a plug for the two and a half millimeter right there and you'll need to press that in firmly as well and then you're good to go and you're set up and you can use your Astro A50s with your headset so what I'm going to do now and I got these a little tangled up so I'll redo that is I'm going to play some Call of Duty Ghosts and check out the sound quality and so on and so forth with the current setup and see how it goes. So I hope you guys will enjoy some of the gameplay and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you liked, unlike if you didn't and follow us on twitch.tv slash blindrungaming for live updates and let's see we're gonna go ahead and plug that back up in here Throw the headset on, get my controller ready and turned on. A couple, no a couple things to note, and we're switching over here as well to the Call of Duty, is that you're going to want to make sure that you update the controller. Um, the controller firmware did not come with the, uh, the update. It should prompt you like it just did me right now. To update and it'll take you to the screen itself and you can click continue um, and the one thing you have to do there is you're gonna have to take your plane charge kit or the cable that came with the headset and plug that into the back of your Xbox one and there's a detailed video I have up once you do that You'll just click continue. Now this controller's already been updated, so it should just go ahead and like, oh, I guess there's a second update. So in case you guys have already updated your firmware, you're gonna get propped in for a second update. And that's what you guys are seeing here. Um, so I guess the firmware update for the accuracy on the analogs and the new Xbox One overlay social features and so on is separate from the update for the firmware of your controller for the 
headset adapter. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to update a second time. And we're just going to chill out here and hope that this finishes up promptly and that we'll be able to get going on some gameplay for you all here in a second. Dun 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 dun. dun. As far as what Blind Run Gaming has been up to lately, um, our podcast is going great. If you guys haven't checked it out, go to Podomatic, uh, blindrungaming.podomatic.com or search us on iTunes and Stitcher and check out our Blind Run Gaming podcast. Um, I have finished Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 and I'm in a playthrough on uh, Thief as well, so stay tuned to the channel for the live Let's Plays of those. And here shortly we should be fully updated and ready to go. Now, I use the the reason I have my other stuff over here is I don't can I update it. I don't know. I'll update that later. Reconnect, yes please. So now we're getting into it. Hope you guys were, uh, that was all understandable. And let's play some Call of Duty and test out this headset. And uh, I also don't know what it's going to do for the um, audio on the other end. Um, I don't think that you guys will actually hear the audio coming uh, from the players, which is actually preferred for a lot of the Let's Play stuff and the commentaries that I do, so hopefully I won't have to worry about that. Connect to Xbox Live here, get that going. Sometimes that takes a bit. Crank my headset up. Well, I say that we're going to connect and, and play some Xbox Live. There we go. Sometimes that first boot up on Call of Duty Ghosts is a little slow. I have noticed the servers lately have been a little sketchy as well, unfortunately. So hopefully that will start clearing up here. I know last time I was doing the uh, first impressions for the controller update uh, a couple days ago that we had some issues there. So hopefully we won't keep... Um, having those. I'm going to do some Onslaught just because I really haven't gotten to play much of Onslaught, so I'm still trying to learn the maps, and, uh, you know, it happens. We'll just do some Deathmatch, so if you guys have any questions, you can type it in chat and let me know if you have any questions over um, ideas where to get the headset and so on and so forth. Um, I did, one thing to note is a lot of the GameStops only got a few of them. Um, both of my local GameStops that are close to my house only got three apiece. Um, and I believe my Best Buy, which is a pretty big one, only got about five or six. And uh, I literally, I got this one from Best Buy, and there was two left on the shelf. And right as I picked mine up, there was a guy right behind me picking one up as well. So they can be a little hard to come across. Kill confirmed. Time to work, soldiers. So, okay. Looks like that's all working. Can you all hear me in this game? Enemy sad gone spotted. Check the chat settings. Alright, so Alright, so the mic apparently works there. My mic's not working. My mic's not lighting up anymore. Currently, I'm not hearing anybody in game chatting, but I also don't see their mics popping up. Once they start popping up, I can do the adjustments. There are a couple adjustments you can do on the Astro A50 headset as well with the headset on the adapter itself. Do, do. 
So I'm pretty excited that this adapter came out. I've been pretty frustrated with it lately that that hasn't been working for me. Uh, like I said, I have spent a lot of money on this. I, like, oh, I can't even use it. So this is nice. And I'm hoping that... Hold on here. There we go. He cleared him out. We're getting a little bit of lag. COD's been pretty terrible lately. With lag and frame rate issues. It's really not been as good on Xbox One as it was initially. I think they had some issues with that last patch. Definitely notice them. Ah, bastards. So I guess what you do in this case with the laggy game is you grab a shield and you have another buddy run behind you. Probably not a bad plan. I should think about doing that, huh? Son of a biscuit. Let's see who's running around here. I'm doing quite, quite, quite terrible. This is more about testing the headset than it is about winning Call of Duty right now. And I figured that large keyboard so I should be able to start hearing people chit chatter. Got movement by the countdown timer. Roger, I'm on it. Ah, I went down. I mean, I, I knew there was a guy there, I just wasn't. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Got him. Wow, it's been a while, fellas. It's been a while. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I am, I am also curious to start some of the Twitch broadcasting stuff as soon as that releases on the 11 and check it out and see how it works through the Xbox One. Hey, Hollow Matt. Yes, Metro is a pretty good FPS. I enjoy it. So there's a couple other features on this controller that I was noticing. We have a little controller plus button. I'm not sure what that does yet at this point. I'm quite curious, so hopefully it'll show me here in a second. Oh, it's game and, and then other audio. Okay, I got you. You guys mind throwing out a quick, like, hello or something so I can check the new headset adapter? Thanks, buddy. Cool. Alrighty, so that adjusts back and forth. And we're good. We can now play with the Astro A50s on the Xbox One and chat in game. What a relief. Check out some of this other stuff we got going on. Alright, so I got about one game left in me then. It's Spurs time. Well, let's see. 5.54. Yeah, one game left, and then it's it's time to go watch the Spurs. Anybody basketball fans in here? If not, doo -doo -doo -doo. If not it's okay. I mainly go to the Spurs for the food and the, the fun. All righty. Get one more game game in here looks like we're gonna be playing uh, fog kill confirmed so that should be entertaining enough entertaining enough I sure hope it is if it's not then well it's not um, I haven't noticed a huge difference with the new firmware on the controller I, I 
think it might just be more a placebo effect on the accuracy for the analogs. Um, I haven't noticed a huge amount there. Some of the things they did on the dashboard are quite fantastic though and uh, hopefully they'll keep keep improving it adding those things back in from the Xbox 360 that they had. Heat fan? Awesome, David. Jill confirmed. Oh, cool. I didn't get a new headset, I just needed the adapter for my Astro A50s. So I picked that up. Time to work, soldiers. Just needed to make sure everything was working. Ooh, we got a guy up here. Let's see. Where is everybody headed to? Ah, oh, fuck. I should have known that I was gonna get. I put myself in that damn position there. No bueno. Kill confirmed. Let's not just shoot at the grass. That would be ridiculous. All right, so he's back through here. Kill confirmed. Let's try not to get hit here. We got two tags here. That Kill nice confirmed. Up if we can. Yeah. Sneaky bastards running around the corner over there. Let's go grab them. Damn! I feel like that was a kill. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Ah, oh, camp in that back corner over I mean, That's a good spot to get past. I should keep that in mind for my next time. What a terrible shot I am. What a terrible shot. Ooh. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Use that to get a warning in case they're gonna come up behind me. Ah! Oh, that guy's still up in that house. I need to go clear him out if I can. It's no way, no. Getting lots of good tag grabs though. Fuck. We have we have eleven tag grabs. And I have seven of them. Or, well I guess no. I don't have seven of them. I'm seven of them. Cause I'm grabbing others as well. I really need to get back into playing some Todd so I can I'm rusty as hell. Too many Kill games confirmed. have been coming out, man. You know? Enemy it's been game after game coming out, and they're just trying to play them all. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Kill confirmed. Thanks. That was a dumb move on my part right there. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Yeah, they seem to be working pretty well together. Spurs suck. Dude. 
They've had so many fucking injuries this year. And I will leave you to your opinion. That's, that's harsh. Who's your team, if we're? Yeah, they had a lot of injuries this year. Friendly incoming. Oh, Friendly damn Trinity lag on Twitch inbound. chat. I need to start. Shit, I am getting slaughtered. I think we just Enemy DC'd here, spotted. man. I think we just DC'd. No, we didn't. Okay. Big lag. What is up with COD these days, man? I remember back in the day when it was that smooth 60 FPS on pretty much every game match you had. Now it's playing like Halo 2 from Xbox Original. Get popping all over the place. I know it ain't my damn connection because I just speed tested and I'm running all the ports open. And that's open. 50 megabits per second on the speed. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Friendly we can do Trinity sweet Rocket night inbound. tonight. I mean, we have box seats and then we have sweet night. Tonight's sweet night, so get to have a lot more friends out, you know. A lot more uh, people go coming. out, so that's a lot more fun because we get the third, like, the, I think there's 30 seats in the suite, so that's pretty nice. Get some food with the deal, get some alcohol, of course. Great, too. You son of a biscuit. Take that. Take that. Oh, they're all upstairs. You guys see that shit? See that shit? Fuck. Couldn't get him. You guys are both Heat fans, huh? Enemy well, shit. Kill confirmed. Enemy sat SATCOM spotted. Tired of getting flashed. Kill confirmed. Uh, of course. That's just me right there. Rockets, huh? Houston Rockets, yeah, y'all. Where are y'all from? Y'all from Texas area, Florida area? Odin expired. I mean, for Rockets, that's kind of a. Uh, We're in the lead. The heat in the Rockets is pretty. Good job. Report to command for debrief. Pretty crazy. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for stopping by. I'm gonna head to the game tonight. Be sure to follow if you enjoyed, unfollow if you didn't, check out our YouTube channel and our uh, podcast as well. Podcast is at blindrungaming.podomatic.com. A direct portal to all that kind of stuff is just going to blindrungaming.com and you can kind of see all of our content and I hope you all enjoy. Uh, it was nice talking to you guys about some basketball and some Call of Duty and some nice little headset adapters here. And I want to say thanks to Milo for following on the channel. And um, if you guys need to want any more information on firmware updates and how to's and all that, check out the YouTube channel and we will see you guys next week. Nah, I'll see you guys tomorrow night <laughs> or tonight, maybe, uh, depending on what 
how crazy things get after the game.